In this video, I'm getting straight to the point and I'm going to tell you 19 online sources that are going to help you get pre-qualified for credit cards without a hard credit inquiry. I'm only talking about the most popular credit offers. I'm not talking about anything obscure that's available in only three states. So if you think little old me deserves it at any point in this video, please hit the like button. And with that, we need to get started. A good place to start when trying to pre-qualify for credit is American Express. Now they tend to cater more for the good to excellent credit crowd. However, if your fair credit score is close to good, you may find some success in pre-qualifying for an American Express card. The first thing you need to do is to go to the homepage on AmericanExpress.com and uh, go to menu click on credit card and then when you start to scroll down you can see your option to pre-qualify and then that will take you over to the pre-qualification option capital one is easy to pre-qualify at any credit level all you need to do is simply to go onto the home page from the menu click on credit cards and right away you'll see the option of doing a pre-qualification and if you are rebuilding credit, you can go on to their rebuilding credit page and you will find it there too. So the interesting thing with Chase is that they are not pre-qualifying right now. They even have their own link, chase.com backslash pre-qualified. Now at the timing of this video, they are not pre-qualifying, but later, a few months down the line, you might want to go and check to see if they are but what they do if you type in this address now is that they will simply redirect you to a credit card page where you can compare the different credit card offers they have, but they will have hard credit inquiries if you decide to apply. So now I'm talking about store cards you can pre-qualify for and with Comenity Bank, they have certain store cards that you can pre-qualify for using the shopping cart trick. These are actually pre-approval offers. And in order to do the shopping cart trick correctly, you're going to want to watch a few YouTube tutorial videos on it. Some of those videos are done by me personally, but either way, make sure you watch a few of those videos to learn how to do this correctly. And if you apply the steps, you can get these pre-approved offers all without a hard credit inquiry. So as far as Discover goes, it is a really good option for having a credit card. No Discover credit card has an annual fee and you have the ability to pre-qualify for Discover. So if you go to the main credit card page on Discover, you'll find the pre-qualification option there or you can find pre-qualification buttons on most of the individual Discover credit card offer pages, including the Discover Secured card. However, you will not find it for the NHL and travel card. Okay, so if you feel that I'm informing you today, please hit that like button. So now we're talking about the Apple card that can be very useful to Apple customers. Now, if you have fair to excellent credit, you can try to get pre-qualified for this card and the good news is that people with fair credit get pre-qualified and approved but by chance if you don't get approved on the day you apply they do have a program in place for you to follow and then to try again at a later time to pre-qualify so this is going to be a really good option for a lot of people so you have two options to find the pre-qualification page you can either google apple card or go to apple.com and you will find Apple Card under only on Apple. Click on that, then you will click on Apple Card. From there, towards the bottom, you can see where you can apply with no impact to your credit score. Then you can start the process. So lately you've probably heard a lot about FNBO. First National Bank of Omaha. They have some great credit card offers like the Evergreen card. All you need to do is go to the home page and click credit cards. Then you'll see the option to pre-qualify at the top of that page. 
So the Coles card is a great card for just yourself or the entire family. You can earn rewards or get special offers simply by using the Coles card. If you go to the Coles site, all you have to do is go to the top where it says Coles card, click that, and from there you can start the whole process of pre-qualifying. So the pedal card is a rewards card and it's good for people rebuilding their credit or people with fair credit. Simply go to pedalcard.com and scroll down to the bottom and you'll see this. Click on see card offers. When you fill out the application you will be matched between their two credit cards, pedal one and pedal two. What I can say is that City offers some really great reward cards and not only that, they offer you a very special way to pre-qualify. All you need to do is to go to the city homepage and on the top left, click on credit cards. From there, you're going to see the pre-qualification page. And that is the nice part of this because you are not only filling out your information in part one, but in part two, it allows you to choose the rewards that you are most interested in. Then from there, they can try to match you up with the types of credit cards you are most interested in when you are pre-qualifying. So if you shop regularly at Walgreens, this is going to be a really good store credit card to get. You can earn a high rate of rewards. You need to go to the upper left-hand corner of their homepage and click Menu. From there, you can see the Walgreens reward credit card offer. So you can see if you have a My Walgreens reward account already set up, this process is going to be easier. But if you don't, you can sign up for one and then you can go through the steps to get pre-approved. They not only have a Walgreens MasterCard, but they have the Walgreens store only card. So if you have fair credit, you have a good chance of getting approved for the store only card. Wells Fargo is also really popular right now. They have cards like Active Cash and you can pre-qualify for them simply by going to the Wells Fargo site. On the Wells Fargo homepage, go over to credit cards on the left, then click on check for card offers. From there, you directly reach the page where you can see if you're pre-selected for a credit card offer. So Wayfair is a good option for a credit card if you enjoy decorating and furnishing your home. The pre-qualification is really easy to find. Just go to the Wayfair homepage and right on the top you can see Wayfair credit card. Click that and you can see right away that you have the check now if you pre-qualify button. So the Home Depot store card is a good option if you're working on home improvement projects. You can use this card and spread over your payments over a period of time. So on their homepage, you need to click on credit services. Then you'll see the four different credit cards Home Depot offers. The only card you can pre-qualify for is the consumer card. You don't want to click apply now, but you want to go just a little further down on that same page and you will see pre-qualify now. Now I will be talking about the Open Sky Secured Credit Card. It's ideally suited for people with really bad credit. When you apply, you do not get a hard credit inquiry. So it's not really a pre-qualification application, it's more just an application that they will not give you a hard credit inquiry for. So all you need to do is to go on to the Open Sky homepage where you can see that they have this offer available for you to apply. So the next credit offer I'm talking about is Self Credit Builder Loan. Just like Open Sky, there is no pre-qualification application because there are no hard credit inquiries when you apply for this offer. You simply apply and most people get approved if they fill out their application correctly. This becomes a two-part process in rebuilding credit because a little later down the line, they will offer you the self-secured visa. 
now I'm going to be talking about Bank of America and they have some really good reward cards. And if you already have a Bank of America account, then it gets even better because you get special extra rewards for having an account with Bank of America. So with Bank of America, you need to click on the credit card tab. Then over to the right, you will see find a credit card quickly. Then click the check for personalized offers link. It says that logging into your Bank of America account makes this even easier, but you can continue without logging in if you don't have an account with Bank of America. This process is fairly quick. Share this video with a friend if they're having trouble getting approved for good credit card offers. So for people building up their credit score, then Avant is going to be a good choice. And by far, this seems to be the easiest way to pre-qualify from all the credit cards I've talked about today. You only need to go to Avant's homepage and click apply for a credit card. Before you even do that, it clearly states that checking your eligibility does not affect your credit score. From there, you are brought to the application page. Like I said, easy. The next card I'm going to be talking about is the low store card. And just like Home Depot, this is really good for people that have projects that like gardening, anything like that. This is going to be a useful card to have. It's very easy to pre-qualify. All you need to do is click credit cards at the top right side of the home page. And then from there, you can see where you can pre-qualify. Just like with Home Depot, it appears that the only account you can pre-qualify for is the consumer account, the Lowe's Advantage card. And if you do find success with any of these credit cards, please come back to the comment section and uh, let us know about it so we can help more people. Congratulations, you made it to the bonus content, the surprise bonus content, where I go and rant and rave about what I have experienced when I was researching this video on pre-qualification applications, because as you know, that's what I talk about all the time on my channel, pre-qualify first. And when I was doing that, I noticed that all these uh, websites were doing pages on pre-qualification, but then they were putting affiliate links that were not pre-qualified applications. And when people apply, they get hard credit inquiries. That was very disappointing to me. So as you can see with the format of my video today, I have gone straight to the point showing you exactly where you need to go to apply for each and every application to get a true pre-qualification. And that's what I'm here to do. I am here to serve you and to act in your best interest. And that's what I hope you believe that I do each and every day. So I have some exciting news. Not only have I just hit 12,000 subscribers, but I have hit 1 million views on YouTube. And I have all of you guys to thank for that because without you, it wouldn't be possible. I have throughout the years really enjoyed my time making videos. So I enjoy going into the comment section, maybe a little bit too much. Sometimes I get a little bit long winded, but through that I've gotten to know a lot of you. And I want to simply say that I appreciate you, especially now because you made it to the very end of this video, which means that's the best metric for the algorithm of YouTube, how long people watch. So thank you for that. Other than that, I'll see you next time.